morning everyone well it's a beautiful day when i'm recording this and uh, we're here just to have a time of prayer together and uh, pray that god will bless us i want to start with uh, some words from stuart townend it's a prayer so let's pray speak O lord as we come to you to receive the food of your holy word Take your truth, plant it deep in us, shape and fashion us in your likeness, that the light of Christ may be seen today in our acts of love and our deeds of faith. Speak, O Lord, and fulfil in us all your purposes for your glory. Lord, as we come to you this morning, in the midst of all the problems surrounding us, help us to spend time with you to learn from your word and to enjoy each other's company. Bless this time, we pray, for Jesus' sake. Amen. I want to read to you uh, two verses from Psalm 34. This is verse 11 and verse 12. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days. Well, every teacher will tell you that listening is the key to learning. And uh, paying attention, concentrating, stopping talking, look this way, you know what the teachers say, stop what you're doing. If you've got ears to hear, then hear. Or today, if you'll hear his voice, don't harden your hearts, don't turn away. The Bible is full of such things, and so was Jesus when he was here. We find it so hard to stop everything and to listen to God. Perhaps this is just the time right now when we should be doing it, in the midst of all the problems that we face. Let's spend time with him and listen to him. Come, my children, listen to me, and I will teach you. What will he teach us? Well, the fear of the Lord. What's that? Well, it's not slavish fear. It's respect, it's love, it's reverence, it's putting him first at the centre of things. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's the start of a whole new life when we start listening to God. The God who gave us everything, gave us life and breath and everything else. The one in whom we live and move and have our being. The one who is not far from every one of us, wants us to listen to him. The God who is there, we were made for this. He is nearer than hands and feet and closer than breathing. He is within touching distance, Jesus said. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, just here. Do you love life? Do you desire to see many good days? Well, then this is for you. I have much to give you, he says. Come, my children, come. Listen to me and I will teach you. Oh, Lord, how wonderful it is when we hear your word and when we respond to it. There's a chorus we used to sing. By blue Galilee, Jesus walked of old. By blue Galilee, wondrous things he told. Saviour still my teacher be, showing wondrous things to me. As of old by Galilee, blue Galilee. So let's pray. Lord, you are the God who speaks and who wants us to listen and learn. I do love life, and I do desire to see many good days, and so do all of us. So help us to listen to you. Help us to learn your secrets, to enjoy the blessings of you being our Father, and we being your children. Thank you, Lord, for this new day. Help us in all that we do to remember that you are with us, you're there, and that you're speaking. Help us to hear and respond. For Jesus' sake. 
Amen. Well, I hope the day that this goes out and uh, the sun is shining just as it is today, may you have a really wonderful day and may God bless you and keep you. May his light shine upon you and be gracious to you. Let's end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.